Hi, welcome back to IT Security Labs. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the like and subscribe button below. This is a channel where I show you guys the best ways to learn IT security and also to monitor your systems so you are always in the know. A good security and system administrator always knows what's going on in the environment. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to track down the power usage for your Dell or any other server that's running on VMware ESXi. The reason why you want to do this is you want to know how much electricity is my server using. If you're playing around at home, you want to be able to know when you look at the electricity bill that how, how much of that is going to your server that's in your basement. So today I'm going to show you uh, a good way to track down those metrics in real time and graph them in Grafana. If you haven't done so, please go ahead and watch my first video where I showed you how to install Grafana and how to set up everything so that you can get some metrics. From this video right here, there is another uh, hidden component which is the power, which is I'm not, which I'm not sh showing in here. And today I'll show you how to create those graphs. So if you follow these instructions, you'll be able to get the power usage information in your database already. So just go ahead and set it up after you're done and come back. Um, over here where I'll show you guys uh, how this is set up. So just to verify, I'm running as Dell R710. I want to make sure that I'm getting the right metrics. According to this, my average power usage is 151 watt hour. That's wattage per hour. And if I can verify that I'm around that range because as you can see right now it's showing me I'm between 148 and 159. So I'm inclined to believe that 151 is an average, is a good number. Also, I also created another dashboard that will show you the total for the past 24 hours. So I'm at 6.35 kilowatt hour. So what that means is I'm actually running on the higher end here. The reason why this is is because I've been running this server for the past 24 hours just to get ready for this video. So if you care about the cost and how much this would show on your bill, just watch until the end and I'll show you how to set up the graphs. So the first thing that I w was uh, curious about is how much does my electricity company charge me? And here is a breakdown. As you can see, they're showing me that this is my fee right here, $0.09032, uh, which is a few cents. Uh, per kilowatt hour so I can easily calculate what my electricity is going to be by calculating this amount and uh, by this uh, 24 hours so I can just do in 24 hours I'm using 6.3 then I'm getting charged this amount right here and then multiply that by 15 and last time I did a calculation I found out that I actually was around $15 to run this PowerEdge server if I wanted to run this server at the current rate 24-7. So how do you create these graphs? You might be wondering. It's very simple. If you follow the instructions from this video, you already have the data. All you need to do is just come in here, do a create, then choose dashboard, then choose single state, then after that just do an add view and edit then from here what you want to do is come back to this video and I'll just show you right now pause on these settings make sure that all your uh, settings match here so for example I'm selecting from my vSphere horsepower this will be in your environment as well if you follow my instructions where I'm choosing ESXi host, but you can choose a, a vCenter if you want. If you have multiple v, um, ESXi hosts going to the same uh, vCenter, you'll be able to create multiples here. But I only have one, so I chose that one. But this will be also a variable in your environment if you follow my instructions. Then uh, for power, I'm choosing the power average sum because I want to total all the power so I can know how much I've used for the day. Match all these settings. Once you match these settings, all you want to do is save your graph and you're done. 
then you can do the same thing for your um, average power usage. This is average as in for the past um, few minutes. If you notice, this went down because my uh, default is six hours. So this will be accurate if I had 24 hours there. So I don't want someone saying your power usage just went down when you made a change. No, it's still that. It's just past two hours. If you want the average, create the same graph and also make sure that you match these values here. The only difference for you is you want to make sure that it's power average mean and also up here you choose your either your vCenter or ESXi host. I would choose an ESXi. That's about it. Then the other one, the other graph that we want is this um, mean. This shows me power usage per hour, which is very helpful. As you can see here, I actually powered it off during this time to make some changes so I can actually record this video. But you can see I also had a spike right after powering it on. That was, you know, there was a few things. But you can always come here and see which times you're actually using power. So if you want this real-time graph, always also go to here, create a dashboard. But for this one, you want to create a graph. Then once you create a graph, once you create a graph, just go ahead and go to edit, and this is the queries that I'm running. This is all you need is this query right here. Select from, it's like a SQL query pretty much. If you match this, customize into your environment. In this case, uh, I'm actually choosing my host as my data collector. And as you can see, I can see all this information. You can customize how this looks by going here and choosing some different colors. You can even get alerts right here. So if you want, you can always create an alert and say, let me know when the power usage goes above 180 watt per hour. Then uh, you get an email saying, hey, your power usage is gone. You can even create caps if you want it. But uh, I just wanted to show you very quickly how this works. So once you have your graphs, I can actually, uh, you can just come here. If you can display this somewhere or you can visit this once in a while and see your power usage. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you, hopefully, if I can get it figured out, how, to, how much power you have used and also how much it is going to cost you per day. So far from this setup, I know that if I keep running this server at the current rate with the current environment, I'm going to be spending about $15 a month running this server. Is that a better option than going to Ravelo, where I'm already running um, some environments? How much does Ravelo cost? That's a decision that you might have to make if you actually have to decide. You go to Ravelo or to Amazon, but if you know, like I do, that that server will cost me $15, it's a good in information so that I know that do I really need to run it or not? Or do I need to run it 24-7? Maybe I need to turn it on when I, came ho when I come home or I need to, some way to automatically power that server on. So if you have any thoughts, any input, I accept that please leave a, some comments in the description below also like and remember to subscribe i'll be posting more videos about this i like doing a lot of uh, labs at home and this is something that i'm actually passionate about so if you care about this info information just go ahead and subscribe and you'll be seeing more videos from me otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about the cost per day and hopefully we'll be able to graph it right here i'll see you guys in the next video